Uh, so now what's uh, what's over here is that they're saying that uh, this over here is the is the overall reaction uh, for photosynthesis. So that's that's your that's your overall reaction, right? Uh, and he says that water is oxidized in this process to the following half equation. So this equation over here is your oxidation half equation. So, uh, and that's your overall equation, this one over here. I said, so what did we, and he's saying that use these equations to deduce the half equation for reduction. You get that's that's what they're looking for. So, so it's kind of the reverse, right? What we studied was that we studied that, uh, like if I, if I go back and we do all the reactions, you have all these half equations, right? For example, all these reactions that we did, like let's pick the simpler ones that we did earlier. So all these reactions that we did, for example, this one, right? You had uh, the lower one losing electrons, the higher one gaining electrons, right? So it was oxidation equation plus uh, the reduction equation and you got your overall equation. Is that clear? So, so basically you had this thing going on, which is you can write it, write it in equation form that's oxidation equation plus your reduction equation. And that's equal to your overall equation. TK Varda, is this clear? Yeah, it's clear. And but the equations would get multiplied by a certain number as well, right? So for example, this one is getting multiplied by A and this one is getting multiplied by B. Why? Because you would have to make the number of electrons gain and lost equal before you added them added them up, right? So so the question states that they've given you the oxidation equation, they've given you the overall equation. So how would you find the reduction equation? So it's simple. It's basically the overall equation minus the oxidation equation. Whatever is left, that's your reduction equation. TK, is that clear? But is this? Yep, is, it's clear. But remember, uh, the oxidation equation is is going to get multiplied by a certain number. But we can't we can't decide what that number is. Uh, why? Because we don't have the other equation. But we have the overall equation. So from the overall equation, I mean, I can actually guess what that number is. Just say, if you look at this equation, uh, like you don't need to know that you got multiplied by five because you can see five in the overall equation, right? So so even if you don't write five over here, you would know that this equation got multiplied by five. That's why you're getting five over here. Okay. So so if you look at these two equations, you would know that this number, can you guess what this number is by looking at the overall equation? What, what can you guess what that number is? Um, is it three? Uh, why do you think it's three? Because there's six H2Os, right? Yep. Yeah, that's possible, but but there is uh, there's O2 as well, right? And remember in the oxidized oxidation reaction, uh what is the species that is getting oxidized? It's oxygen, right? Because oxygen is minus two. And here oxygen is zero. So I think the species that we should focus on is balancing out the oxygens. And I guess the way you're gonna uh, you're gonna balance out the oxygens is that you would have to multiply it by six because you're getting six O two. TK, the oxidation part is is the oxy oxygen over here. Do you get my point? Yep. So I think it's it's better to multiply it by six. TK, oxygen is the species that is getting oxidized. So you need to make that equal in the overall equation. So all I, I'm going to do is I'm going to just subtract this from the overall equation. Uh, whatever I'm going to get is going to be my reduction equation. So what do I get on the left-hand side? It's going to be 
uh, 6CO2. Okay, so overall minus oxidation. 6H2O minus, uh, I think, 12H2O. So that will give me minus 6H2O. Okay, I had 6H2Os over here. I had 12H2Os over here. So I'm going to get minus 6H2Os. What's on the right side? Uh, glucose plus 6O2. So that's... Uh, uh, the, o the O2 will get cancelled out. 6O2 minus 6O2. So that gets cancelled out. So C6H12O6. Uh, minus four, uh, 24H plus 1. And minus 24 electrons. Uh, because the whole equation is getting multiplied by, by 6. Uh, so I'm going to get this, and that's my that's basically my reduction equation. The only thing now is that you don't write equations in this form. In in chemical equations, you don't have minus. So chemical equations are like math equations. So uh, so you can just get rid of the minus signs by rearranging it. So I'm going to keep six CO2s over here. I'm going to bring the minus twenty four and minus twenty four electrons uh to the left side. So that's going to be plus twenty four is plus one. And plus 24. As a product for yoga, I'm going to get uh, glucose. So C6H12O6. And I'm going to get um, uh, 6H2. Okay, so that's that's my that's my equation now. Okay, so it's this. So is this is this clear? Yep, it's clear. So the next 